Yeah, so the artifacts leave the site. Um, they're dropped off here and we have a system of checking the artifacts in so that we know exactly how many bags have come in, where they're from, and once they've been checked in they go over to Jessie who starts the washing process. Um, once she's washed a bag she lays it out on the tray to dry where it goes on the drying rack for at least 24 hours. And then once it's done there it comes over to me and I do the cataloging. So we separate all the artifacts into their own individual piles based on type and basically it's a big inventory of the artifacts from a specific provenience, um, a very detailed list. So we include things like uh, rim diameters, um, ceramic types, and any patterns that are on the ceramics that can help us date um, the context. And then once that's been cataloged, it goes into the computer and then back out to the field crew so that everybody has the same information and it helps us maybe direct where some of the the future excavations will be, um, gives dates for different features and, and context. Once everything's been cataloged, we label the artifacts before they go to curation. Um, and we do this because if someone comes to study the collection and you're, you're pulling ceramics and things out of the bags, you have to be able to put those objects back into the correct bags. The labels consist of the site number um, and then the lot number and the lot number will be specific to the provenience for that artifact. There will not be any duplicate lot numbers. Um, so just by looking at the number on the artifact, you'll be able to see exactly where it's come from. And so also if we do things like reconstruction of vessels, um, there might be crossmen's across different proveniences, but if we need to take that apart and put them back, they can all go back into the, the correct space. So given the, the quantity of the artifacts coming from Clover Fields. It's probably one of the larger collections um, for Maryland and one of the better or best documented um, collections. Um, it's from an early site in the colonial period, so um, it'll be pretty valuable for research.